one thing I ask of Hashem, that I seek that I may dwell in the house of Hashem all days of my life, to see the pleasantness of Hashem and to visit His temple every morning. That's the hope of my life, always, always, to live with these emotions of closeness to Hashem, to see the pleasantness of Hashem and to visit His temple. All the material desires that drive the person crazy disappear, they vanish. People come and ask all the time how to overcome the evil inclination, it drives them crazy. His desires drive him crazy from this side to that side. The Chazoni says that once the person has a merit for this divine light that we spoke about, all those desires disappear, they run away, they completely disappear, and his delicate soul is surrounded by holiness. A person feels completely in holiness, and as if the soul left the muddy body, and it travels through the heavens. The Chazoni says here something great. At the time that the person has this merit, there are parts of his soul that go up to a very high place, they are at a very high place. And for that you receive an extreme spiritual pleasure. Just like during time of sleep, there is a part of the soul that just goes up. That's why the person is sleeping. If a person attaches him to Hashem, he does it when he is awake. There is a part of the soul that travels up there and gets amazing spiritual light. And the Chazoni says, that is the person is climbing up in the spiritual levels. A whole new world is discovered in front of him. All of a sudden the person sees a whole new world. He sees the whole world differently. The majority of people in the world are busy with nonsense. How to get more money and more honor and more money and more honor and more nonsense and nonsense. It's a crazy race. A person works to have money to buy food and he eats so he has power to work. And again he works for money so he can buy food to eat. But why does he live? He doesn't even know. When a person discovers his spirituality, he finds out the real purpose of life. This divine light, when a person receives his powers, he really understands what matters in life. He finds out what are the real good things to do in life. What are the things that the person is really born to do. The Chazonish continues and says that a person can in this world to be like an angel for moments and enjoy the holy divine light. He says a person can for moments, even in this world, to reach the level of an angel. And then his pleasures are like the pleasures of angels. And angels don't enjoy food and drinks and from other nonsense like this. The angels are the spiritual divine light. As the Gemara says in Brachot, page 17a, that in the world to come there is no food and no drinks, but the Tzadikim are sitting with the crowns of their heads and they are enjoying the spiritual divine light. So a person can even in this world to have this merit. The Chazonish continues and says, and all the pleasures of this world are like nothing compared to the pleasure that the person has by attaching to his creator. What is the Chazonish saying? People are looking to have fun in life. Some people remember in that specific year, they had that kind of pleasure. Or some week that they had some great pleasure in their life. The Chazoni says all these pleasures are like nothing. Why is it like that? The pleasures a person has in the pleasures of this world, like foods and drinks and etc. It's from very external layers of the soul. But the spiritual pleasures of the divine light, it reaches the deepest layers of the soul. A person really thinks, what's my purpose in this life? What's the goal that I was created for? Each one reaches whatever conclusion he reaches. The Chazoni says, whoever tasted this taste of this attachment to this divine light has no more doubt what's the purpose of life. He says it's so deep in the soul that he understands this, this is the purpose of life. To come closer to Hashem Itbarach.